Coach, whenever you're ready. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, I think our kids played hard. Disappointed in the outcome that we got to play better. Uh, in those games where every every possession matters, every play matters, every situation matters, and we got to play better, execute better, and we got to coach better and find ways to help them just find those plays. I know it sounds like, you know, but that that's that's it. Find we got to help them. They got to play better, and and in some key moments, we we gave some things there and had some opportunities, and uh, you know, unfortunately, we start off bad. We got to they got a turnover off the bat. I thought it was a good throw there. Looked like it. I can't. I'll see on the film, but. Popped up in the air and they get a pick and we, the defense did a good job there. Then we come right back and answer up with a touchdown drive. Great drive, come back down, move the football, ran the football well against a team that I thought and I knew it was going to be difficult to run, but I thought our guys did a nice job in that regard. Uh, then they come back and got a drive. Then we come back and got a drive. Kept answering up offensively, and uh, you know then uh, they stopped. So then we got a drive. Then they had a two minute drive and go right down and get ahead, 17-13. We lose it. Then we get to stop or. Uh, I can't remember second half. They come down and scored. Now they come back and scored. Uh, then we come back and got back to 24-19. Missed a, missed a two-point conversion. Thought we had that there. Got to see that. And then next drive had a field goal. Then next drive it was two minutes. So they they had some critical. They had a third and we had a third and 16 holding. We had them backed up. Had a third and 16 holding. Had a third and 10. Uh, I think they converted third and nine, third and 10 there on the last drive. That we you know we got to find a way to get off the field. We had four or five minutes to go in the game and had good momentum in the game. And played it, but they kept. They made the plays that we didn't. We didn't find the inches, and we got to play better. And uh, we got to do a better job overall in all three phases. And uh, like I say, had a couple opportunities. I thought Spiller ran the ball very well. Thought Chain ran the ball very well. Uh, thought Zach grew, grew up and made some really good plays at times. A couple of things he's got to he got to get cleaned up, but. I mean, he's growing as a quarterback, so he made some big plays in some big times uh, situations there uh, to keep us in the game, making plays. Uh, we got, you know, we got to score in the red zone. As unfortunate, we had a had a chance there on that third and long. Maybe could hit one right there in the red zone. Had a chance uh, at the end, and then, uh, but that's that's the way it goes right now. We're we're, we're an inch or two short. We got to find them. We got to figure them out and uh, get ready to play and grow. Questions. Questions. The left, Owen. If I can ask a couple of things, Jimbo. First of all, um, uh, on that that last series where y'all did settle for a field goal on the uh, 18 first down, did you think you had that play set up? Did you mm -hmm. think you yeah, had the touchdown? Yeah, they were blitzing and coming, and we were going to take a shot. Had a guy in the flat and had a boot coming over. It's one of the plays we had earlier in the game. We'd been running the ball very effectively and knew we were thinking about coming back on. If we had a good second down, we went four downs right there probably and went on in. You got to take a shot. We'd ran it, mixed it, and just threw, completed the pass right before it for eight yards. And had a one-on-one -on -one trying to get a corner route with a flat route and a play-action boot off because they were crashing off that end, which the next play you saw them crashing when we had the four-yard loss. Yeah. And then uh, Kenyon back to guard. Um, and y'all ran the ball pretty well. So it was – That's what, No, that's what we want to be. That's, that's, that was what we wanted to put him in the first place and get these young guys developed. And hopefully that's where we can stay with that. I like that group. I thought they did a pretty solid job. There was a couple mishaps there. We had one in the fourth – you know, we had a – Protection breakdown there on that third and four in the red zone in the third quarter. We had a chance we'd have picked we we picked the wrong one up, but yes, thought he did a good job. Thought he played pretty solid in there. Go ahead, Owen. There you okay, go. Uh, go ahead. and uh, then uh, did Mike play too soft on the? Uh, Y'all rushing three and dropping eight, but it seemed yeah, like they I mean, were but we also we did, we, but we also got beaten man. We, we we were mixing in. We weren't we weren't doing a good job covering in man. So we were trying to mix man and zone, trying to pick places to go. And we'll look at the film and see and see what we can and cannot do. I'll make that judgment and we look at the film. Thank you. To the back behind the lights, Justin. Jimbo in the back. TV, okay. TV real back. Yes, I know you can't see the lights. Uh, Mississippi State misses the field goal. Obviously, I know you're, you're pinned up in your own end, but that's the stuff you're talking about. And you have a chance to go down and kick a field goal and win the game. You just got to find a way to do that, right? Well, we did. We, I mean. They missed. You no, know, no, they didn't miss. They punted. We had the ball at the 10-yard line. Yeah, we got to find a drive with 220 left in the game, or or get a stop on third and 16, or get a stop on third and 10. When we had them backed up on the 20 or 30. I mean, we could have had great field position. We didn't get that stop, and then we got to find a way in two minutes to get a drive. And uh, they, they, I, I got to look at the third down play. I don't know what happened on the. It was a protection or whatever, uh, on what happened right there. But uh, they got the safety off it and did. But you had an opportunity with the ball. You know, you had that four possession. You had to maximize them on offense because. Uh, like I say, they did a good job of eating the clock and, and doing the things they did, controlling it, controlling the passing game. Third row left, Jennifer, and then Travis down front. Hi, Coach Fisher. Two yeah. questions for you. Um, how much do you think the loss of Buddy Johnson and Bobby Brown have 
harm this defense? No, I mean, listen, those guys are great players, but we got other guys out there that are playing really well. And uh, we've got some other guys that are banged and bruised. But listen, those guys are doing what they're supposed to be doing. And anytime you lose great players, it, it, it always affects you. But we have other guys, and we play. I, I mean, I don't think that has anything to do with what's going on. And then what's your overall attitude of your defense's performance tonight? Well, I mean, we, I think we were a little bit – gave up too many controlled drives and uh, ate so much clock. Like I said, we only had four possessions in the second half. The last one came with two minutes to go, and one of them was at the 10. You know what I mean? We got to – I think we got to find a way to get some more three and outs. We got to play a little better man coverage and, and win those battles a little bit. And on third down, we got to get off the field a little bit. And, and uh, But, you know, on offense, you got to maximize drives and score touchdowns. You know, every inch matters and playing good team. So, we'll look at it. We'll, before I'm making a judgment, we'll, we'll evaluate the film and look at it. Down front, Travis and then Cole. I know you still need to look at the film, but when you look at some of Zach's inconsistencies, do you, is it more having to do sometimes with reads? Is it more of a physical execution? Well, I'm going to tell you point? what, Dale, and some other. I, I mean, he made some, but he made some really good plays today too. I mean, it don't. That's, let's go back now and, and some of that too. It's not all Zach. And uh, that's a couple pressures. And we, we missed a blitz one time down there in the red zone. They had a chance to be a one-on-one -on -one post, and we, we didn't pick up a blitz inside and didn't pick it up. So, I mean, there he had a couple plays at the end, but he got pressure. I'll have to look at that one on the safety. I don't know. What happened? But he led us on some nice drives. Made a touch scramble for a nice touchdown. They made a great touchdown throw on there on the other one. I'll look at one of the others in the red zone. But he's getting better and better each time he sees in the side. Just third game he's played, and uh, we got to continue to play better around him too. The first, the first interception. I mean, hits a guy perfect with the ball. Give up three points. So I mean, you know, if they catch those balls, what's that do for his confidence going the other way? I mean, that's too, that's a, that's a double-edged sword. So we just got to play better as a unit and and hang together and figure it out. I know after last week you said that. You you y'all can still achieve all your goals. Does the loss today change how what those are at all? It or possibly have you does, and you don't worry about it. You play the next game. You set goals at the beginning of the year, and then you look at the end of the year if you get your goals. You don't play every week for you play every week for to be a good football player, to be a good team, to win the next game, and, and you're keeping score to play your tails off. And we got to we got to become a good football team. Let's line up and keep playing and, and, and see where the year takes us. We'll go down front, Cole, and then third row, Alex. Uh, Jimbo, for the past couple of weeks, you've been talking about Jalen Weidemeyer wanting him to have a more complete game. Would you say that this was his probably more complete game of what you just saw initially? Uh, it seems like it. I'll, I'll wait and see and see the film. But, I mean, it seemed like he did a nice job. We missed him, I know, one time on a corner route where we had, a, had one coming off the goal line on third down down there, which could have got. But try to get him the ball. Try to get him the ball at the end of the game. That's where we were trying to go with it both times at the end, and then they, they double-covered him on one side and then and bracketed him on the other, and we had to work the other side, which Zach made great reads and come off of him went to the guys he had to come to and uh, and what he was doing. So uh, he's getting, you know, Jalen played. I thought he had a good solid week of practice and seemed to play a very good game. And then Isaiah as well, uh, just his physicality, I think everyone sees between the trenches, but also that home run speed that he has in the open field. Just What do you see from him consistently every single week? He's doing good. I mean, he's playing well. He, I, I thought he played one of his better games today. I think he got back in since the first game. You know, at times had some few inconsistencies the last couple of weeks, but he's been, you know, he's always a team leader, plays his heart out, physical guy, and we got to keep finding ways to get in the ball. Third row, Alex, and then to the back. Hey, Jimbo, you touched on it a little bit, and I'm, I'm sure you're glad Seth made his field goals, but how tough was it not being able to punch it in for six looking back? At it was. We missed a block once. One, I got to see a read on one. one. I got to see that. And then the last one, you know, we had a chance there. and got to uh, try to have a play action on first down and then try to get a uh, nice run. But we ended up, that's the one run we got there because I think we lost four on that on second and ten. We've been running it pretty good, and that was a run that we've had pretty good different times. And we unfortunately – they hit us on a blitz, which I knew they were coming. They were, they were going to. They picked that down, the other down. And then uh, third down, we almost picked it up. So, we just got to keep going. Back behind the lights, Daryl Ruffett. Coach, I have a couple of questions. First, on Zach's run, that was the touchdown run. Was that the play caller? Was that him feeling the pressure and then just tucking it and running it? No, he had pressure. We had a, we had a, we should have slid and, and had a protection on it. And he knew it, knew the hot guy was coming. And the guy came flat and he just stepped around made a good play. And then you talked on Monday about not letting one loss become two. How do you do the two not to become three? You, know, you go back and practice and do the same thing, learn your lesson. I mean, uh, we practice better. We've got to play better and, and finalize it and go have a good week of practice. All right. Coach, thanks.